What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of 321 Fishing. We're out here on the little boat out here in um, Banana River here in Cocoa Beach. And hope we're gonna do some fishing. Got some live shrimp. It goes around some of the islands, flipping the shrimp into the mangroves, the bobbers, the key lining. And hopefully you catch some fish, so you gotta see too. First fish of the day on the shrimp. Beautiful little snook. Well, maybe we'll get our inshore slam today. It's a nice snook, actually. It's beauty. All right, chill. Chill out, buddy. Chill out. Beautiful. I like 13 inch snook. See if we can get another. You guys, got a little trout on. This tiny little dink. Choke that guy, Jesus. Now all we need is our red, and we'll have our intro slam. <laughs> well, we got our intro slam. And then this is like one of the tiniest reds that ever exist. I was on my phone, and I ain't paying attention. Ah, come here, bud. That's the, one of the smallest reds I've ever caught in my life. Cute little guy. Cute little spots, healthy little red. Well. That is it. That is my first intro slam of 2020. So I'm gonna try to catch maybe a, bit, a little bit of a bigger trout, redfish up here. It's hard to sort of catch nook, so we'll see what else we can do. But at least we have my first intro slam of 2020. Whoopee. Hope you guys enjoyed the fishing part of this video. It was my first intro slam of 2020, so that was exciting, even though all the fish were tiny. That's also my smallest redfish I've ever caught, but Inshore slams and inshore slam. Just happy I got that out of the way for 2020. Um, the rest of the video now is going to be for my snorkeling trip I did at Phil Foster Park, which is off the Blue Heron Bridge in West Palm Beach, right before the Palm Beach Inlet. And it's a pretty amazing park if you ever want to go ch um, check it out. Um, awesome for beginning snorkelers or people that never snorkel around. It is. It does get pretty deep around the structures, probably about 10 feet of the average. But other than that, it's not that bad. The water, because of the tides, was a little bit dirty but usually it is crystal clear the water so that's why it's maybe a little bit murkier than usual but there's a lot of cool fish to see a lot of reef fish for just being an icw right there at the inlet it's pretty cool so hope i hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed the fishing part now on to the snorkeling part and hope you enjoyed the snorkeling part if you're not already subscribed subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and join the family and if you haven't already smash that like button show me that you guys love the videos and I'll leave you with the snorkeling part, and we'll see you on the next episode. Sign off.